Universal's Home Gymnastics Learning Program. I'm here with Carly and Madison, and we are going to just continue on with our uh, workout, and let's start with warm-up. Let's start with burpees without the push-up. Ready? And go. jumping jacks and our candlestick jumps. You will be putting your arms up above your head like Harley is doing. Go ahead and do that again. So burpees again. As they are doing this, we're going to be doing uh, three sets of still too soon. Okay, that's good. Looking up through your hands. Try it again. One more. I'm going to stop you in your handstand. Handstand. Push up tall. Now push and stand up. Push. Look up. There you go. Okay, do you want to try it one more time? Yeah? All right. Go ahead. Stay nice and tight. Push up tall. There you go. Good job. Now we're going to go into our back extension roll. So for our back extension roll, what we want to do is we're going to try and hit a handstand, a vertical handstand. Um, go ahead, roll, push. Okay, so there she hit a 45 degree handstand. Let's walk up just a little bit. Again, that was still just a 45 degree handstand. It's okay. That's just one of the steps of doing our back extension roll. Handstand. And then go ahead and split. Stand up. Okay? And then we're going to try, do you want to try it one more time? One more? Try it all on your own. There. That one was so much better. Good job. For this next skill, I'm going to bring in Aiden. He's going to help us with our handstand pirouette. That is our skill this week that you can earn your stars on. So Aiden, let's go ahead and try that. Again, you want to start just exactly how you're going to start in a handstand. So bent knee in your lunge, straight back leg, front feet are turned out, your hips are squared, your arms are up and you're looking where you want to go and your ears are hidden. Go ahead and go right into a handstand. Then what you're going to do, so there's your handstand. So then when you're in your handstand and you can hold it pretty well, you're going to take whichever hand you are dominant. So I'm a righty, so I would take my right hand and turn it backwards. He is a lefty, so he'll take his left hand and turn it backwards. And it's okay if it goes behind you a little bit to turn, because that's going to initiate your turn. So go ahead and just try that. Okay, that's fine. So you saw when he turned his left hand, he was able to, to at least turn a quarter to a half. So that is pretty good. So what eventually you want to do, we want to just narrow it down to four steps in your hands. So that's one, two, 
three, four, to be able to hit your handstand pirouette. So your hand should only move four times. So do it one more time. And again, you'll step out of it exactly as you would a handstand. You want to push up tall through the whole skill. One, two, three, four, and down. Thank you so much, Aiden. Now I'm going to explain how to get your stars in your handstand pirouette. If you can hit your handstand and do a quarter turn, then that's one star. If you do a half turn to three quarters of a turn, that's two stars. And if you can do the whole full pirouette with pretty decent form and step out of it, then that will earn you your three stars. All right, so now we're gonna go on to our conditioning segment. So first up, we're gonna do tuck ups. Go ahead and lie down on your back into that hollow hold. Very nice. Then you're going to tuck up into basically a ball but without grabbing your legs and then go back to a hollow hold. So when you're doing these, you cannot grab your legs like Madison is grabbing. We don't want to do that. We want to keep our arms out away from your body a little bit. Okay? Um, so do three sets of ten. So we want to do those. The more you do, the, the stronger your abs are going to get and the better all of your skills will be. So let's go ahead and move on to our next one. Are going to be squats. Um, find a chair. We are going to use mats. Um, if you have any blocks, pillows, cushions, a couch, anything at home um, that you can sit comfortably in where your legs are in a 90 degree angle, what you're going to do is you are just going to squat down, tap your booty on whatever you are using, and then stand right back up. Three sets of 10. Very good. And then we're going to go and do arch ups, back on the floor, on our tummies, arms in front of us, legs are going to be behind us. You want to squeeze, point your toes, and then you are going to arch up and do like Superman like you're flying. Go ahead, up. And then you're going to hold it. You want to keep your ears hidden. See how both of them have their ears hidden. Very nice. Three sets of ten. And if these are too easy, the ratios are too easy, just go ahead and up your numbers. Um, that's how you get stronger. All right, that's it for our conditioning part. Flexibility is next, so we are going to go into our right leg splits. So let's go ahead and start in our first position for splits, which is our lunge split, our lunge position. Pushing our hips forward, hands on your hips. There you go, Madison, good job. So you want to really feel that stretch. Go ahead and push forward. It's all right. Stop. There you go. Lift your chest up. Okay. You want to make sure that your foot is turned out in front. There you go. Chest up. Hold it. Okay. Good job, Carly. And go ahead and go. Let's go into our straight leg. So this one, all you want to do is just straighten the first leg, reach past, you want to try and reach past your toes, and you want to put your face into your leg as you can, as much as you can, but keeping this front leg straight. There you go. Eventually, what you want to be able to do is put your leotard right on your leg and reaching past your toes. Keep the leg straight. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and slide down into our right leg splits. Go ahead and chest up, roll the foot out, okay, and you want to make sure that you're squeezing the front knee into the floor, rolling your front foot out so the big toe is away from the floor, there you go, and you want to make sure that the top of your knee and the top of your foot on the back of, on your back leg are on the floor. Make sure that your shoulders are square, and you want to reach behind with your chin up, okay? And if you can't get there yet, it's okay. That's why we practice and square, okay? Let's go ahead and go into our left leg. Back into the lunge. Push your hips forward. You don't want your knee to go over your toes. Turn your foot out. Okay. Push, push. There you go. Good job. And 
straight leg. Try and reach past. Keep that leg straight, nice and squeeze. Squeeze it. Squeeze your knee. Yeah. Okay. And then slide down into your split. So again, you want your toe rolled out. So it is not, your big toe is not on the floor. You want your chest up. There you go. Ribs in though, keep your ribs in. Turn your shoulders, square your shoulders. And you want the top of your knee and your foot in the back on the floor. If you can't do it, it is okay. Just keep working at it. Okay? And then let's go into our straddle splits. So on your straddle splits, you want to make sure that your hips are right over and in line with your legs. If you are doing it the way Madison is doing it right now, you're in a butterfly and not a straddle split or a middle split. So you want to make sure that your hips are right on top. Squeeze those knees. Oh, and you're going to your elbows. That's fine. Squeeze them. There you go. Hold yourself there. So you want to make sure that you're right in line. Squeeze those knees. If you're back too far, you're in a butterfly. And if you're up too far this way, it just looks funny. So you want to make sure you're right on top. Then go ahead and come out of that. All right, and let's go on to our bridges. So Madison, turn this way. Yep, Carly, you're there. And go ahead and bridge up. You want to bridge up. You want to push your shoulders forward so you can get your legs together and then straighten your legs. So we want to be in this shape here. Hide your ears. Push them, squeeze them. There you go. And then you can also rock back and forth in it. There you go. Because that will help with your flexibility as well. And go ahead and come down and rock and roll. And this concludes our flexibility portion. Okay, now I'm going to explain the star system. On their tuck-ups, we explained earlier that three sets of 10. Um, if you can do 30 tuck-ups, good form, no pausing, and without grabbing your legs, they will receive three stars. And then for their splits, um, if you can do one split all the way down, good form, it doesn't matter which split it is, one split all the way down, good form, toes pointed, chest up, you will receive uh, one star. If you can do two splits all the way down with great form and everything, you will get two stars. And if you can do all three splits all the way down with good form, you will receive all three stars for your splits. And that is our conclusion for our class for today. Um, I look forward to seeing all of your videos coming in, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.